Hey guys, it's your girl Charity Nicole, also known as the Green Mama, and today I'm going to be giving you guys a quick um, two-month update postpartum, as well as a couple baby updates for you guys. Um, but before we jump into the video, please make sure to subscribe, like, comment, share, do all of that stuff so that you can see all of my videos, turn that little notification button on. Um, I know I haven't been posting a lot of videos because honestly, you guys, I don't know how you mommy YouTubers do it with new babies. Like big props to all you guys. I literally have the hardest time finding moments or even free time to be able to, you know, do videos, even to have the energy to do videos. So I'm sorry that I haven't made a lot, um, you know, since I've had the baby, but I'm getting back into it. I have a little bit more energy. So definitely turn that notification bell on so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. So to just jump right in, um, Sage made two months on September 30th. Um, at the time of filming today, it is October 4th. So he's a little over uh, two months, nine weeks um, last Thursday. So 10 weeks this Thursday. And um, I'm going to be honest with you guys. Motherhood is, I don't want to say nothing like I expected, but it is very very different um that first month was really hard for me um if you guys watched my last video i'll go ahead and link it up top um i did have a c-section it was unplanned i was not happy with it um i definitely wanted to go all natural i didn't want to have any um, pain medicine i didn't want to do any um like I didn't want them to induce me or anything like that, but unfortunately, because of baby's heart rate, I had to go ahead and get not only induced, but they d decided to go ahead and do a C-section to just make sure that he was okay. So the first couple weeks, honestly, I was like kind of grieving that because I had put so much time and effort, you know, making a birth plan, doing all these things like, you know, doing stretches and everything just to make sure that my body was ready for a natural birth. And then that opportunity just got taken away from me. So mentally, like I did have to go through um, a grieving process for that and that was really hard. But then at the same time, because I did have a C-section and I had, you know, that's major abdominal surgery. So I had that surgery, but then I had this newborn and taking care of a newborn right after surgery. Like, I don't know how they think that that's possible, but it was really, really hard for me. So that first couple weeks I actually, um, like even when i was going through it i was like wow i'm definitely going through postpartum depression right now um not that i you know i never wanted to hurt myself or hurt the baby but it was like i felt absolutely useless to my child because i like i said i had that surgery i couldn't walk he would be crying and it would take me so long to get to him and then I had like breastfeeding issues at the beginning so I really just felt so useless to my son and it was really really hard for me the first couple weeks but thankfully you know once I started to heal a little bit more and be able to get my you know movement up a little bit more um, things definitely got better um, and a couple weeks into actually like maybe around week four I was able to get back to regular breastfeeding so that first month was hard, but you know, I worked my way out of it um, and we're doing really good now. When the baby was first born, you know, I had a C-section and um, when I first, they first took him out, he like cried a little bit and I felt like my heart and I was like, oh my God, it's my baby. But my mom's there and honestly, my mom's kind of dramatic. So she started like crying, crying and I was like, Ugh, you know, I don't know. I was just like, never mind. I'm not gonna like start crying right now. But then, I don't know, for those of you who have had a C-section, like my arms were like out um, and I was like restrained so that I wouldn't like move while they were like cutting me open. And the nurse brings the baby over so it's like the first time I'm gonna see him. And she like puts him like by my face and I'm like, what am I supposed to do? Like, I don't know, that, that feeling that moms talk about, like that love at first sight, you know, like I definitely didn't have that. So those first couple weeks like afterwards I felt so bad like why don't why didn't I love him like that at the first second like obviously I loved my baby but I didn't have this like rush of like emotions like some moms talk about and I just want anybody out there you know that felt the same way or is nervous about that like you are not alone I definitely did not feel that when I first saw him it was really the first time that we like locked eyes 
I was like, oh my God, this is my baby. Like my heart like melted a little bit, but honestly, like I fall in love with him just a little bit more every single day. So it's definitely been like a gradual thing. We're two months in and I still, it still hasn't really hit me. Like it hasn't settled in that I'm actually a mom and I have this little human and like his whole life is dependent on me. It's like, it still blows my mind. It's so surreal. So if you're out there and you know, you didn't have that feeling right at first, that first time you saw your baby, please don't feel bad. Do not feel bad, you're not alone. Trust me, I've talked to multiple people about it. You are not alone, trust me. But a little bit more about postpartum. I, um, I also live with my parents right now. And um, my mom at the beginning, I know it, she was just trying to help. I know she was, um, but it was really hard for me because the baby would cry and I already felt you know, useless and my mom would run in like, do you need me to take him? Do you need me to take him? And it just it made me feel even more like I couldn't handle it. And I like totally snapped on her one night. Like, you gotta let me do this. I feel like you don't think I can do this. I need to be able to do this by myself. Please stop like, offering your help and we ended up you know talking about it but it was i'm telling you those first couple months or that first month for real was really hard the second month has been a lot easier um since we've been able to get into the breastfeeding um the nights haven't been as bad i swear at the beginning like i was telling my cousin i, I dreaded the nights like literally dreaded nighttime like it would get like seven eight o'clock and I would start feeling anxiety like I don't know what's gonna happen tonight every night was different sometimes he would cluster feed sometimes he would sleep for you know three hours and then wake up and I wouldn't be able to put him back to sleep sometimes from midnight to like three in the morning he would just cry and he'd be restless there was nothing I could do so I literally dreaded like dreaded the nighttime so I'm so happy that we've grown out of that. You know, things aren't perfect. He's still not on a schedule. I think last night he woke up four times still, about every two and a half hours. So, you know, there's still a long ways for us to go as far as sleep training and, you know, me getting a full night's sleep. But things are so much better. Um, I definitely have learned him a lot more. I know what his, you know, tired cry is. I know what his hungry cry is. Um, I haven't really quite figured out the bathroom cry quite yet, but I try to change him every two to three hours anyways, cause I'm not, I don't want him to get a diaper rash. So, we're, you know, we're constantly changing him anyways. But, you know, I think that the more time you spend with your baby, you know, really listening to them, they, they tell you a lot more than you think in those cries. All of those cries are really different. So, you know, just really try to like listen and, and um, really, yeah, just listen to how your baby's crying and then see what fixes that cry. So, like I said, I know his tired cry. It's like this whiny, it's not even a cry. He just whines. I'm like, okay, he's tired. Like, we just need to go sit in the rocking chair. Or, you know, his, like, hungry cry, he's actually crying and, like, tears are falling down his face. Like, he's hungry. So, yeah, they're definitely telling you what they want. I did notice, though, so those first couple weeks when I was having my latch issues, um... I was bottle feeding and you so my parents would help feed him or you know I would feed him so it wasn't always just me but then once I got him to actually latch and um, breastfeed it's like a flip switch and he has become so clingy like he my parents don't cut it anymore it doesn't matter like I'm actually really worried because my birthday is later this week and I want to be able to have a night to myself leave him with my parents and I honestly don't know if it's possible because he is so clingy he will cry and cry and scream and cry and then as soon as I hold him he doesn't want anything he literally just wants me he just wants to be like with me so I think that's a breastfeeding baby thing I hear it's all babies but I'm telling you he was not like that when he was drinking out of the bottle but as soon as we got on to for real breastfeeding he became mama's boy so I love it because, you know, he finds comfort and solace and, you know, he knows that I'm his, his safe space. But at the same time, I'm like, Sage, can I please just have a breath? Like one breath, like, can I go to the bathroom please? So, you know, there's those pros and cons to all of that. But um, yeah, baby boy is growing. He's big and strong. Um, his smile is just so cute and, um, if you guys are wondering, I am, I have decided to go ahead and keep him off of social media, including YouTube. 
um, just until he's old enough to tell me like, yes, mom, I want to be on YouTube or I want to be on social media. Um, you know, no, um, no shade to any parents that, you know, put their kids out there right away. It's just my, um, my opinion, what I want to do with my kid. I just feel like, um, you know, he's my biggest blessing. He really is. And honestly, I don't want to share him with everybody. He's, you know, he's my baby. So that's just... Sorry if you guys want to see him, but you won't be seeing him anytime soon. Sorry. But he is big and strong. That gummy smile is so cute. Um, he, at his two month appointment last week, he weighed 13 pounds, six and a half ounces, 23 inches long. Um, and I think that's around like the 75 percentile for both of them. So he is definitely a big boy. Um, his dad wasn't that tall, um, maybe like 6'1". Um, I'm 5'8", but my biological dad was like really tall. He was like 6'3", 6'4". So I'm really thinking Sage is going to be tall. Um, me and my parents have a bet. I think he's going to be like 6'5". My dad thinks like 6'3". My mom is saying 6'2". So um, obviously we won't find out anytime soon, but I do think that my baby is going to be really tall. It's just a quick little recap for these first two months of being a mommy and having just the biggest blessing that I ever could think of. Sage truly has changed my life. So thank you guys so much for stopping by my channel. I know that this video was, you know, quick and to the point. Um, remember to subscribe, like, you know, comment any questions you guys have about those first two months um, of being a mom for all my first time moms out there. If you have any questions, please let me know. Please um, turn those notification buttons on so you don't miss any of my new videos and I will see you guys next time.